wasn't actually 100% sure what to park, but here we go. I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'ma do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make. Yo! Uh, okay. That's not ideal. I mean, Ellis will be here in a minute. Hmm. I've got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. Cause my messages are kind of so they put them on display. Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty. I have a sense of urgency. A message for eternity for everyone internally. I had some people burning me, but now they fucking learn to see. I ain't the one to fuck with. Now they looking nervously, and I don't really care what you think of me respectfully. You can kick rocks if you think you're fucking better. See, I will outwork you, turn you to an enemy. Hurt you so bad. Welcome back to LSJ TV today. We are bringing back the best gym series at Elite Physique Manchester. You've seen him before, I'll let him reintroduce himself. Yeah, so uh, my name's Ali Skidmore, I'm a men's physique competitor. Uh, next show's planning in September 2022. Um, I do influencing, TikToker, YouTuber, Instagram, uh, that right, I don't know. <laughs> um, and yeah, just, you know, if you feel like dropping me a follow, feel free, it's just Ali Skidmore. Um, Links in the description. Links in the description. And yeah, follow the journey. So, this is your local, right? Yeah. Is this where you train on a daily? Yeah, I've been, I mean, I used to train at a bit of a pure gym. Right, um, I mean, this is a little bit better than that. Branched out massively, yeah. Just a tad. Um, this, this is sick. definitely like the place to be. If you're in Manchester, 100%. you're into bodybuilding, you want to compete, you want to get fucking huge, yep. this is the place to be. Uh, I've seen some big boys in here already. We've only been in five minutes. <laughs> So apparently, USB, I've one of these on the way. We've got loads of kit, Hammer Strength, Atlantis, seen some Nautilus stuff. The Instagram says that they are the world, the, the UK's first prime fitness centre. I don't know what that means. What does it mean when they say the first prime sun, something thing? It's like the number one uh, UK prime centre. Um, and who owns this gym, he has all the equipment down from Prime USA. Um, which is quite crazy. You've got like the chest press, uh, pet deck, knee lateral pull down, 
Um, yeah, but everything more or less. From what I can see, this area is all prime, right? Except for the one Atlantis machine. Prime center. This is pretty much all prime, this bit here. And then you go through there and it's like all plate loaded hammer strap stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Got hammer strap for uh, Atlantis. Atlantis. It's monster factory, some, uh, some monster range. A Nautilus. I've seen a Nautilus by somewhere. Here we go. Way back to, I would say, I'd say 2016. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're kind of just figuring this out. We, we decided <laughs> that we were going to film this clip, and we're kind of just figuring it out right now. So we know each other for a good few years now, right? Um, you've been on the channel a handful of times. Came down to UFB, all that kind of stuff. But what I love about this right here, right now, is that neither of us would have a fucking clue who each other were. Not a single. We could both be here in this gym right now with a camera separately and not know who each other were. But because of social media, back in 20 fucking 16, bear in mind it's mid 2022 right now, we know who each other are and we're here getting a massive pump on. I would never actually probably have even come to this gym. I wouldn't have heard of it. I'm not gonna lie, but it's Alice's local. So here we are. Pretty nuts. Absolutely. Pretty nuts. I mean, that's the best thing about social media is obviously like, I don't know about anyone else, but when I was growing up as a kid, like, especially going into bodybuilding and um, you know being that one guy who'd go to the gym all the time and train and like didn't really want to go out and party or anything. Um, there wasn't many people like me, but I'd jump on social media. I remember I'd chat to my boys on there, and um, like you live all the way down in London. Like, I'm from Manchester, so London's pretty far, and like we'd all just be talking about the same thing. Like yeah, same experiences. Uh, going to high school, being called Arnold. <laughs> I mean, <what's, laughs> I wish I was like Arnold. That's the amazing thing about social media. You get those people who, who are like you and mm. have, you know, you're able to relate to. And you know, it's, it, it's a nice feeling not to feel like you're alone on things mm -hmm. sometimes. I couldn't agree more. I really couldn't. I say that a lot, actually, to be honest. It's the coolest thing. It just brings, it allows you to like bring people together in a way that just nothing else does on the whole planet. Like you can bring people together at the click of a button, post a video, post a photo, and that's it. Everyone's talking about this same thing that they have in common. Yeah. Whereas you don't get that in a school playground, you know? Absolutely. But you get it online, online on social media. It's pretty fucking cool. So we're currently on this machine from Planet Monster Range Strength Systems. I mean, it's a tricep machine, so you kind of have to like climb over this bit. We're only on 10 out of 25, and it's quite heavy. It's quite a spontaneous session, right? So we've both got like weird jotted around our body doms, and we're just kind of doing whatever. I mean, this series, I, I just like to try cool new machines, exhibit A, right? So there's no real pattern or structure. We're just kind of going, should, should, we, should we do that? Should, should we do this? So, oh my God. Literally yesterday, did about 9 million reps on triceps with Derek. I mean, it felt great at the time, but not so much now. It's a nice machine, though. Very nice. It's just fucking heavy. <laughs> oh. Then you have to, like, climb out like an <laughs> acrobat. So, if you're new here, or you just haven't seen it, you're not new, you just haven't seen the best gym episode. This is the series where we go around the country and test out the best gyms. The kind of gyms that have a shit ton of Prime, a shit ton of Atlantis, a shit ton of Hammer Strength, those kind of gyms with this kind of vibe. That's basically what this series is. I don't give a review. I just make the video, show you guys the vibes, let you guys know what it's like, and then you can decide, whether, like for yourself, 
whether you want to come or not. But it's pretty safe to assume that if I'm making a video like this, it's already pretty assured that it's a sick gym. The gym was established maybe a year or two ago. Um, I mean, I, when I first actually visited this gym, um, it was in a different part of this, it's in a mill. Um, and I thought, this is crap, I was never going to come back here. And then all of a sudden, I actually had a bit of where they, they changed the location, right. completely, almost essentially rebranded, and then I came back. I just instantly just fell in love with it. I was just like, wow, okay, this is the gym I need to be at. Yeah. You know, it's where all the big boys are. Um, there's only so much motivation you can gather when you go to any other gym, for example. Um, obviously, I think this is what the series is with Liam. Mm. Um, typical gyms, the gym, pure gym. Um, don't get me wrong, great facilities time, time and a place. overall. Time and a place. But if you're wanting to level up and you want to be surrounded by like-minded people, mm -hmm. you need to find a the place. Place. Yeah. A, a best gym gym. Yeah. Simple as. The locals even get control of the playlist. We've got an iPad, everything. This is um, exclusive members only. <laughs> um, not many people actually know the code to the, this iPad. I was gonna say, don't, don't come in and try to start changing the music. Like, this is Ellis's gym, so. Find a classic. What's this? You'll know it if you know. If you oh, know, okay. you know. If you know, you know. All right. Oh. <laughs> when this series came out um, on Guzman's channel, I was just, I was playing this every day. Mm. Every single day I was training. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you know this song? There I'll give go. you a second to listen to it. Ready? It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's competition was yesterday, wasn't it? Some yeah, shredding was yesterday. It's crazy. Um, I think one of Alex Toplin's uh, people won it, as in Christian's coach. The Alex Toplin's the guy that won some shredding like three years ago. He's now Christian's coach. Really? And a bunch That's of his crazy. people have like won all the titles I've and stuff. He's cleared up, mate. <laughs> mate, have a look, honestly. Some of the stuff is really cool. Yeah, I'ma do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks. I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'ma do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks. I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make. Yeah, I'ma do it my way. So from this corner over here, it kind of curves back around there. That's where the entrance is, back around over there. We've got like a, almost like a dark, dungeony kind of, but still lit because of the windows at the back kind of vibe. There's no real like structure to where the equipment is, but they basically have a prime section and then just like everything else, right? So that's how they split it up. Rather than having a leg section, rather than having a, a, a arms and chest and everything like that, they have a prime section and a here you go here's everything else something that i've never seen before and i'm loving it so they've also got a set of dumbbells especially for me they look hardly tough 82.5 kilos that's all you know so i might warm up on that on a bicep curl thoughts on your regular gym on your local uh yeah i love it like I say it's, it's just a the place to be um mm. like i think there's not really many bodybuilding gyms in Manchester. I'm gonna say, there's um, not many more like this around here, is there yeah, really? No, so, it's one like, of the only ones really. Yeah, um, and that, if you want this kind of vibe, then you can't really go many other places around here anyway than this, um, So, which is great for Elite. Thanks <laughs> for coming on the channel. Cheers Always for a great session. And we will see you again very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, the series that was robbed by the big C, COVID, is back the best series on YouTube, the best gym. The series where we travel around the country to your favorite gyms. And for that reason, I want you guys to decide where episode 14, this was 13, I, th I think, I could be wrong, could be 12. Anyway, the next episode, I want you guys to decide in the comment section down below, suggest a gym that is worthy of being in this series. We're talking the best equipment, we're talking the best gym, we're talking the best vibes, we're talking the best people. We don't wanna to go to a gym that's full of dickheads, right? We just we just don't. The gym can be great, but if it's full of dickheads, it's not, you don't wanna be there, you know? You can have the best equipment in the world, but if everyone's there or the owner's a dick, you don't wanna go, right? So, if there is enough demand for it, if there is enough 
need and, and want for it, I will travel. Fuck the petrol prices, we will drive anywhere in the country, if need be. If the demand is there, like let's say you suggest a gym in frigging Glasgow, if one person suggests it, I'm probably not going to go. But if 10 people suggest it, I might. So stick your guesses, your guesses, your suggestions in the comments down below. Where would you like to see us train next and who with? Got some plans with Jake, got some plans with Sai, we just haven't actually organised it properly yet. Got plenty of episodes coming in the very near future. So if you have enjoyed this one, Ellis, thank you so much for coming on the channel, my friend. I really appreciate it. Hopefully see you again soon, perhaps for another gym down here in Birmingham. Who knows? Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you all so much for your support. I am buzzing, buzzing to be bringing this back as, as fast as I can. It's not exactly like I can just nip to, to Manchester to go to another gym, you know, so I'll film these as and when I can. It was a very spontaneous thing as it is because I actually picked Ella up from a Hindu, which was in Manchester because the trains were cancelled because of the strikes and all that kind of stuff. So the only reason I was there was because of that. So it was very spontaneous. It was all very last minute. It was all it fitted the best gym series pretty well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.